It's Roger my Fossil University and I have um, something to talk to you about this sphinx that was in the woods somewhere in the United States. I'm not going to divulge exactly where. And I've been told not to speak about these things because I have no proof. And I don't have proof, but I will show you what I do have. Okay, Roger, once again, another trip into the mysterious realm of things that we laughed at that not a single human being breathing oxygen today would believe was true and I see this and of course I thought this must be insane this is insanity how could this possibly be true a sphinx in the United States and uh, this guy, Dan Franco, was walking in the woods. He came across this thing. And he says, well, look, what do you think of it? And I said, well, it's got to be something silly, you know. And I looked at it. You know, and I really didn't see anything. So he went back and he did a couple of more investigations. I got this from him. So I'm looking at it. And, um, you know, he was with another person or two or whatever he was with. And they're not too excited about this being real. As a matter of fact, they were sort of down on saying anything about it because they don't want me to to get into, uh, you know, look like I'm, I'm just accepting anything, like I'm a fool. Well, I don't think I'm a fool. Let's see if I am. You see if I am. I'm, I'm seeing things I cannot reject. Now, if you reject them, reject them, but I can't because I understand what I'm looking at. So let's look at it. Here he is. This is Dan Franco. He's out there, uh, and he's going to go through here. And I'm going to turn the sound off so that he doesn't say anything, which I don't know if he does or anything. But you see all those crystals? And I'm going to tell you something about crystals. Crystals don't form in 50 years, 40 years, 30 years. That is time. Now, not only that, they are on the surface here, which is the biological surface. You don't see them very... You know, there's a few over here, but very the crystals don't form on. They form up more on on the biology that has these different seeds. They're what they call the metal seeds. They're salts and seeds and all this stuff, and they grow these crystals as time goes on. Now look at that. That is a biological wound. I don't know how anybody can put it. Look at anything different there. Now, I want here's what I want to point out to you: the difference in the material. From the face to the crown, right? Pay close attention to that. The different colors, which are blood metals and minerals, and all the things that you have in your own body that create chemistry that you live on. Now, and they also, moss and lichen, I say this every day, multiple times, they love blood. You see what's growing there? It's blood, moss, and lichen on these edges. Now, I also want you to look at the ear. So let's, and then the neck has a lot of blood coming out of it. So let's look and see. So here it goes. He's looking down the face. We've got that gash in the head. Now that, how, how can you see anything different than a gash there? Now, as he comes down the face, boom, let's just stop here. Here's the things I want you to look at. Look at all of that. Look at all of that. That is feeding on the blood of that face if it's real could be totally wrong now but if it is real that's what I would expect that <laughs> I can't give you any explanation for that other than a wound that I say looks to me exactly like an ear and you'll see it in a second and you'll see some blood dripping here and there if it was real and you'll see what might be an artery here and there if it was real. Now, coming down, I see an ear. Now, down here, I see possibly the passage of blood. These are things that where blood issues out. Something's dripping out of there. It's not the same as the top. Now, let's go back to where the ear was. All right, whoops, I have a hard time stopping at the right time. All right, you see over there? Just watch that. I'll see if I can stop it at the exact best spot. Huh. All right, that's not bad. 
You see it there? That's it. That, to me, let's let's talk about what we see. Ah, that's better. Maybe we get a little better than that. Yeah, that's as good as it's going to get. Now, <clears throat> we're seeing different chemistry in his eyebrow. We're seeing blood here, and that looks like it's trying. Blood is leaching out of his forehead eyebrow. We got chemistry going on here from what looks like a serious wound. There is absolutely no way that I can think of, unless you can, that that ear looking thing, which it might not be in here, but it sure looks like an ear to me, is sticking into what is a different material than the face. Now, if you see something different, I would like to understand exactly what it is. Now, and also, you see this ear on the other side. You see what's sticking out there? You know, something's already eaten the ear off of that side. <laughs> I'm just telling you, it looks... I, now, the whole thing is a sphinx. And I'll show you, I'll give you a profile of it, and then I'll let it go at that. Now, I'm not endorsing it, but I sure as hell cannot say this is not real. And if you can, I have no idea how you can do that with, unless you just want to blow it off. It needs to be looked at with, a, with you know, a close examination. Obviously, I'm not saying it's real. But boy, I could tell you, I, I, I've seen so much that not a single human being right at this instant would ever, 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 ever consider to be even worthy of looking at. And trust me, I found that out. <laughs> For years, not a single person would. And now they are starting to come around and now start to come around and think of what the hell you are looking at there. Because I'm not going to say it 100%, but boy, I'd love to have somebody go out there and look. Uh, I, I'm I'm really on the edge on that one. Okay, so you've seen Dan Franco's American Sphinx. Now the next video will be on the pyramids. How they were built? Were they created for power? I think so. How were they made? I understand how they were constructed. Well, how was the king's chamber possible? I think I understand that. Why are there two types of limestone? I think I understand that. What is the chemistry of those? I understand that. What? Well, forget the rest, all right? And I think it's for this reason right here. Now, I will see you in the next video.